Welcome to your fourth Reimagine 2020 Family Creatives How To Video. Brought to you by Artcore and Rongsemble. Meet Connie, a brilliant theatre designer and artist who will guide you through how to create action. In this film, we'll show you different ways you can bring your puppets and your puppet theatre to life and to tell stories. Creating different places. Your puppet theatre can transform into anywhere you want. From a comfy living room, to a magical forest, to a street scene. Set pieces help tell the audience where our story is happening. You can create your own set pieces or use objects you find. Or mix and match. And one setting can change in lots of different ways. Like the seasons. From sunny to snowing. Moving your puppets. The way a puppet moves can tell us a lot about what is happening in the story. Are they happy? Or are they sad? Can they swim? Or are they flying? Are they scared? Or are they lost? One puppeteer, that's you, can bring lots of puppets to life. And they can each be different. So your story can have lots of different characters in it. Or you might want to ask someone in your house to be a second puppeteer with you so that you can have multiple puppets in a scene together. Using the world around us. Your puppets don't have to stay in your puppet theatre. They can go anywhere. From the garden to the kitchen. You can play with how your puppets interact with the world around us. Where might your puppets like to explore? And anything can be a puppet too. From your toys to a book or the fruit bowl can spring to life. What objects can you find to become puppets for your story? How to do a reveal. Idea one, create a backdrop. You will need some card, your puppet theatre box, scissors, pen and colours. Draw round your puppet theatre on the card. This will ensure the backdrop is exactly the right size. Cut it out. Remember, if you're using scissors or something sharp to cut with, make sure you have an adult there to help. Or you could ask them to do it for you. Draw your backdrop on the card. This will show the audience where the action is taking place. Colour it in and repeat as many times as you like for different places. Ta-da! Idea 2. Pop-ups and drop-ins. Attach string to set pieces you create so they can pop up from behind objects or drop in from the top of your puppet theatre. Idea 3. Use layers. Create backdrops pop-ups and drop-ins which add layers to your action. These different reveals can help the action move from place to place. One way of framing a story is to respond to a song or music. Listen to the song and think about how you feel. Perhaps we can show this with our puppet or perhaps the song reminds you of a place. We can change our setting to reflect that. You don't have to act out exactly what the lyrics say, but sometimes the words in a song can inspire us. In our final example, we'll be using a fantastic song. This song is available for you to listen to and download whenever you access this video. And we'd love to see the action you've created in response to this song too.
Now you've created action for your puppet theatre, join us in the next film for How to Film Your Creation Help decide the way the story is told. It's your story too. Let's reimagine together.